your internet service provider or your government might be blocking you from using the Tor service for some reason. But in this video, I'll be showing you how to bypass that censorship. So sometimes your country might not want you to access a particular website or some particular domains and they instruct your ISP to block these websites. And using the Tor network can be a good way to bypass that censorship. But your ISP might go a little further to block you from using the Tor network. So in this video, we'll look at some ways you can bypass um, this restriction and still use the Tor network. So the way Tor works is um, Tor works with something called relays. And these relays are just like nodes that you can hop on when you want to connect to a particular resource or when you want to access a particular resource. And these relays are usually public. And your ISP also has access to this Tor relay list. So they would block you from hopping on this um, nodes, this relays to connect to the resource you want to connect to. So the solution to this is using bridges. So bridges are just like regular relays, but they are private and your ISP does not have access to these private relays. So that's what bridges are. Bridges are just private relays and they can help you bypass censorship. The other way your ISP blocks you from accessing Tor is they monitor your Tor traffic. Once they see the pattern of your traffic and see that you're trying to access Tor, they block that. And these are where pluggable transports come in. So pluggable transports is just a way or a method you can use to trick your ISP that you're accessing something different instead of the Tor network. So you can trick your ISP that you're trying to um, make a video call with someone or you're trying to access a different website. Pluggable transports helps you obfuscate your connection and make it look like a regular traffic. So let's check out how we can use bridges and pluggable transports to bypass restrictions. So you want to go to bridges.torproject.org and from here you can get bridges that you can put into your browser that you use to access the Tor network or you can put into the Tor browser. So you can click the type of pluggable transport you want. I'll leave a link to the documentation that explains these different pluggable transports in the description below and you can get bridges but sometimes your isp blocks the tour project website itself and what you want to do is send an email to bridges at tourproject.org and you just write in the body of the email get transport ops 4 and they will send you a bridge you can use so that's what i did and they sent me this bridge so i'll use this bridge to connect to the tour network so let's copy this Let's open our Tor browser and you want to go to your settings and you want to go to connection, scroll down to bridges. So let me remove all bridges first. Then you can select an inbuilt bridge. Using the built-in bridge might not work sometimes if your ISP is doing a very good job on censorship and you would want to use the manual bridge. Also, if you, if you don't have access to the Tor browser and you're using an alternative browser to access the Tor network, you might want to use a manual bridge. So let's um, add in a manual bridge and I'm going to paste the bridge I got from the email. Then I'm going to click on OK. So I'll reconnect here. Let's create a new identity. Restart the Tor browser. And I'm just going to check my connection here. And I'm now connected to the Tor network. So if you go to this icon here, you can see we're going through this bridge and we're hopping on other relays before connecting to torproject.org. So that's how you use bridges and pluggable transports to bypass censorship and connect to the Tor network. So remember, you don't need to use this if you are not being censored in your country or if your ISP is not doing any particular type of censorship and you can just use Tor regularly. So don't use this if you don't need to. So that will be all for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you want an alternative way to bypass internet censorship, you can check out Hillbyte Sox 5 proxy on AWS. This can help you bypass internet restrictions while still allowing you have 
a fast internet connection. You can also check out Hailbytes VPN and go fish for your fishing simulations. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you in another video. Bye.